especially during this period of time between Shiva Sabatamas and Tishabov. It's a time of adding in Tzedakah, as it says, Tzien ba Mishpat Tipah de Vishavar B'Tzedakah, Zion, and its, habit, and its inhabitants will return to Tzedakah. So the more Tzedakah we give, the quicker we're going to return home. In the meantime, you know, you have all kinds of books of riddles. Some of them make more sense, some of them make less sense. But when the Talmud tells you about particular riddles, in debate between Rabbi Shur ben Hananya, who was known to be a brilliant, brilliant debater, and the sages of Athens, so at that time was Greeks, these were the, the geniuses of the generation, and the Gemara tells the stories of riddles, of a debate in the terms of riddles, which some of them seem to be quite hard. Let me share with you one of them, which the Gemara in Bechoyres relates. The Chachme Athens, as it says, the Greek, there were 60 against one, by the way, uh, brought forth two eggs. And they asked Rabbi Shur Bachananya, which egg is coming from a white bird, a white chicken, and which one is from a dark chicken, from a black chicken? Rabbi Shur Bachananya excused himself, says, let me come back in a moment. He came back with two pieces of white cheese. Can you tell me, please, which one is from a white goat and which one is from a black goat? He applauded. Reb Shur Bechananya answered brilliantly. Now, what does this mean? Listen to the depth of this conversation. 21 days it takes for a chicken to lay an egg. So the Chach, the sages of Athens, ask Rabbi Shuba Hananya, on your Jewish calendar there is twice 21 days. There's the 21 days between Shiva Sabbatamus and Tishabov, which we call the three weeks of mourning. The three weeks commemorating the destruction of the temple and all the other cal calamities which have happened, as we have mentioned. <clears throat> then there is another 21 days from Rosh Hashanah until Hoshana Rabbah which are days of forgiveness, days of prayer, days of celebration, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot. It's also 21 days. And they say, but so one represents whiteness, the white chicken, the days of celebration. The other one, the 21 days of mourning represent the black chicken. And they say, but they both put the sa lay the same egg. In other words, even your days of celebration are also doomed. There's no hope for you. Because the 21 days of mourning are similar results as the 21 days of happiness. So he responded to them and brought them a piece of cheese two goats. In the temple on Yom Kippur, we had to bring two goats. One goat was the soil which was offered on the temple, in the temple, on the Mizbeach. And there was another goat which was called the soil Lazazel. Israelis like to say Lech Lazazel. On the mountains of Azazel which was thrown down. So one was brought as a offering in the temple and the other one was like kind of thrown away. But both of them, he says, give the same white cheese. In other words, to tell us that the purpose of this goat being thrown down on the mountain is not as punishment, is not for discarding it's all part of the process of forgiveness, the same as the one which is offered in the Holy Temple. The 21 days of mourning is not an eternal destruction, he says. It's part of the process of these 21 days to be transformed into, indeed, the egg, future generation, the time of Besamikdash, the time of redemption. So it's not as if 
the black chicken represents doomed darkness. No, it's the beauty which comes out from it. This is the depth of this debate. But Ebishter, we had previous 21 days already. You don't have to wait till Tishabov to make it into Yontif. Today would be just fine.